but we're gonna go over some this is this Different is mostly for like same beginners class. like this is for for basics um and it's going to be for <laughs> newer players who don't really know where to you know use their util when they're going onto a site or when they're taking a site on haven um or brimstone if you want to do a c take there are a few ways you can do it so some of the most common starts to the round as brimstone um are going to be smoking off top of c long on the Smoke attacking down. side and this is really good because it allows your team to grab the orb here while being not visible from everything on site except for i believe this spot here which not a lot of people use and it's not very uh you know common unless the enemy team has a jet so think about that if you know if the enemy team has a jet and you know she's offing be careful of that uh top platform there okay so <clears throat> The most common smoke here um, at the top of C long. This one's quite useful because if you can get your teammates here, if you can shift walk your teammates all the way up into the smoke and you have a Phoenix, you can throw a flashbang out and you can take sight almost for free, but you have to be careful of getting spammed through smoke. Here. Um, a more common way to take C on Haven um, with a brimstone in your comp is to go through mid and take through garage. And you'd likely have one C long. So a garage take, and one of my favorite smokes is not doing inside the window, but doing it on these stairs here. And if you do it on the stairs, it covers the window much more, um, like, drastically. Like, it covers their dropout as well. So this is really good because it also allows you to come in here and jump in here and peek the people who might be watching through the smoke. Also, if you're in here... Let me put it down one more time. <clears throat> if you're in here and somebody's hiding in this corner here, you won't get immediately shot. Because if the smoke's deeper, then they can see you jump up. So all you have to do is enter the smoke from the bottom, then you can see people's heads, right? That are peeking you from inside. So it's quite good to do the smoke a little bit forward here. That's one of the most common ones. Then you're gonna take garage control. So with this smoke, you take garage control. And I love to throw a stim beacon down as my teammates are going in. And a little known thing about the stim beacon is that the buff for the stim beacon lasts for four seconds after you leave the circle. So <clears throat> you can see it there. And also, a lot of people don't know what the stim beacon does, but I'm going to tell you real quick. Um, so the stim beacon gives you the combat stim buff, which gives you 10% firing speed, 10% reload speed. Let me. Uh, infinite ammo off and 10% weapon pullout speed so if you have like an off or something yeah, or a shotgun it. or something or your phoenix is throwing a flash around the corner it'll help him pull out his weapon faster so that he can peek so that's extremely useful and also you should be knowing when your enemy is going to push this so if you think your enemy is going to push it all you have to do molly in there and then you can run and they can't jump out a window and flank you as you're running up so for the full take you would do stim beacon, stim beacon down. down well you would do the smokes first but smoke here smoke right on top of the edge of plat here and then smoke here on ct then you run in with your stim beacon molly the window if you so choose or if you know somebody plays back there molly, molly up there oh i missed it <clears throat> Um, you just molly back here and you can just wing it like it doesn't matter ex if it's like perfect or not but you should always be practicing um like knowing how far your molly goes in certain situations so yeah get a molly there on top of the smoke because people like to play inside of it um and then like all you have to do with these two smokes here is you clear here and you have a teammate going through there and then you clear back site pretty easily and then this is already cleared because it's molly so people won't be able to hide in the smoke here um 
<clears throat> Do I think smokes on pistol run are worth? Yeah, of course. Right here. Smokes are strong on pistol. <clears throat> now we're gonna go over a B take. Um, B takes are kind of difficult <clears throat> in this game or in this map um, due to the very closed angles of B. So I'd recommend only going B when the enemy is already down a player or if the enemy is out of a lot of utility, like their mollies and stuff like that, or they don't have brim alt. Okay, well, I'm gonna go over just the normal C take and then we'll go over some vari- or the B take and then we'll go over some variations because I'm just testing. So the normal B take would be to smoke off here and here. And you can also do another smoke close anywhere here, but I like to do garage and I like to send somebody garage. Or, so there's a few variations. So we're gonna do these two. Now, there's a lot of variations with this last smoke. You can save it if you want. You can put it on garage so that if you wanna send a player in garage, they can go and flank here. Or you can send it here. And then one round. Smoke's down. So the significance of sending it here, it, it seems innocent, right? So say one round you do this take, right? And you send the smoke Smoke's here. Down. And then the next round that you that you want to go A, you do these two smokes here. Then you do this smoke here. And then they're going to think you're going B, but you have people in A short, and then they flash out of this smoke here on C, or on A site, and you get A site for free. And then you just fall back and you go to A. But um, that's a really common way to fake sites with brimstone is you have these set smokes that you do. So when people see those set smokes, they're like, oh shit, brim's coming, brim's coming here. Um, and then you just switch it up and you go to another site. Smoke's down. And now we're gonna talk about C site. So executing C site is kind of um, difficult on this map um, and usually you're going to want your Cypher or your Jet or um, Omen maybe to smoke the cross here. Every single round at the start of the round. Um, it's usually Cypher caging the cross. But if you don't have a Cypher on your team and you want to take A, smoking here every single round is very, very useful. Because if you think of it, at the start of the round, the enemies only have this option to see if you crossed a short or peeking you on short. So if one person comes down here and four people are shift walking down here, as soon as they peek, they're going to die instantly. Now, if you can get teammates into a long and you have people in short, your best smokes are going to be one Hello for heaven, welcome to the stream. Bah, 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 bah. one for CT. And occasionally I would put one here on this box and I'll show you why. So we're just going to do these two smokes normally. Smokes down. Blocking heaven is very important because it's a very scary angle. And if you put a smoke right here on this box as well, it can actually stop the defender here from getting easy kills on you. So this box, it obviously provides cover. Now we're gonna wait for the smoke to drop here. Um, so this box provides cover, so they can just do this, shoot you and then back off, or they can jump and see you. But if it's smoked, Smoke's down. If it's smoked, they can no longer jump. They have to walk all the way out here. Look how far it is to get back to cover. So if they go all the way out here, then if you have people walking up, any shot that hits them is going to be a kill shot because they no longer have this quick cover to get back to. Watching here. So try and think about using your smokes that way as well as blocking off sight lines. It's not just like, oh, you use your smokes to block off sight lines. They can be used in so many more different ways that are so much stronger than you'd think. Like this, for example. It's very counterintuitive, well, not counterintuitive, but it's very lesser known. So yeah, that's a, that's a C take or an A take. And we're going to go back to B site because I want to mess with something here. So I want to try and do something like this. Please be on the box. Ugh. Okay, we're going to wait for that. <laughs> We're gonna go with um, defensive smokes right now. Okay, so defensive smokes. Um, as Brimstone on this map, I think you usually play middle-ish around A site or uh, floating around. Um, garage is fine as well. Um, so on on defender side Haven, as Brimstone, you have a lot of options with your smokes. Um, 
you can play aggressively on C long with a smoke here at the entrance of their start. And something that I would um, suggest doing on like a save round or if you have like a jet and she can buy a shotgun or a raise, you can send a boom bot long. You put two smokes here, one at the entrance of C long and one at the and, and exit of yours. And then you run down into the smoke with your shorty. Now this forces them to either walk through your smokes here to you know try and kill you in which case you hear them and then you jump out and you kill them with the shorty or it forces them to back off and allows you to take the orb for free and then you have big control of this side of the map now for defensive smokes um kind of just normal you smoke off garage if you think you know they're coming in um you smoke off window and again with the window smoke don't do it inside window so i'm going to show you real quick so if you do the smoke inside window it's not big enough to cover the whole window like people can walk over here and they can peek you up there so when you're doing these smokes i suggest doing them in front of the window and right here down. so you see that smoke's gone now and this smoke covers much more of the window and granted it's a little off here but if i had landed it or you know placed it better that wouldn't happen but it's going to be much harder and actually um you can mind game your enemies a lot if you think that you place smokes that are a little off every now and then down. then do it place a little off smoke and then your enemy's going to think you messed up and then you just hold this angle with an op and then when they peek it you have a free kill so that's a pretty good defensive smoke um b site is self-explanatory um and for a site kind of self-explanatory there's a few things that you can do on a site that are cheeky um actually and i see a lot of brimstones that don't know how to retake a so say you've lost your a site and you have a few players outside of a now most brimstones that i see they'll do these two smokes here. now why are these two smokes bad one nobody plays long well sometimes people play long but long should be the least of your worries if you're retaking site and short it's not a very common angle some people right sometimes play there but there's much better smokes you can get so let's show you so if you only have one smoke i would say your absolute best smoke possibility is right here and the reason being is that you block off again you right block here. off this angle now it could you know people could walk up here and peek here but this is what you want so you want people to walk out and peek into you um, because this angle is very scary to clear because you have to wide swing so far and you're exposing yourself to this much sight. Now, if you have two smokes, I would say to smoke here and here. And reason being, now this angle is blocked off so you can clear this angle. And if you have your molly, bounce molly. it off this here box and it molly's under heaven or I would probably put it in the smoke to prevent them from pushing you while while you're clearing the rest of sight. So you put the smoke down here, molly it, walk into sight, clear the right with your team, then walk over here, clear this side with your team, and maybe have one person heaven to help watch short. Um, and another really good retake smoke. So say you have two smokes again. This is something like in your retaking an another time. So you can put one here and you put one on top of these triple boxes right here in the back side. And you can do this on both sides if you want. Say you have three smokes, you can do this as well. Now, you literally cannot be peeked from short here. So you have this, Molly in, peek here, get the kill here. And here, watch, watch this, I'll show you. So I'm gonna put these two smokes down. Down. Anybody playing here now has to peek here. Actually, shit, I messed this one up. This one Smoke should be down. way further back. But anybody peeking here now has to walk all the way back here and out here to see you. So it's very open. And anybody playing short down. can no longer see unless they walk all the way out. And if you have somebody heaven, it's a one way for your heaven player. So we're going to talk about retake smokes for B site and C site as well um, while we're waiting for daylight then. Uh, I always want to do maybe base off side. 
center makes it. Okay, that's fine. Um, so if you find yourself losing B site, and usually you're gonna be on the other side, but let's just hypothetically say you're taking this side. So if you find yourself having lost B site, some of the most important smokes you can do is smoking off mid window here. Um, but if you know they're not playing mid window or you have problems on site, like players playing on site, I would probably do a smoke here in the front and a smoke here in the back. And we're gonna go over why in one second. So smoke here in the front and smoke in the back. Now this one could be changed. Let me see actually. So if you pull this up a little bit here, I think this is probably gonna be better. Yeah, so you get yourself onto site and you clear one angle for free. Let me put these down real quick and so that we can go. Down. So you put these two down, you walk into site, clear left, clear right, both clear. Now you have your choices. You can go to the front of site if you know that there's not a lot of people here. And this is where you can get your other smoke down. So if you have one here, and actually, let's say you only have two smokes. I would probably say the best smokes you can do are one here. Now, it's gonna be a little weird. And then one here. So, watch. So the main goal of this is to have your back covered here while being able to have the site open. And you are also encouraged to do this. So let's put the smokes down one more time. And this smoke here, it's mostly so that you can walk all the way up here and peek mid, but also so that these guys have a, a line of sight to you. Because, and I'm using this as an example, but you want them to have a line of sight to you, especially if you have your molly and you can use this for back sight and front sight. So um, do this and this, and then you molly here. Molly. Then you watch here. Because whenever people are mollied, they want to run out. Obviously, they don't want to die. And if this lands better, um, also you want, make sure if you're doing your molly here, you can bounce molly. it off this wall. Yeah, it'll become a little better, yeah, than the one I did. Um, and they're they're running out with their knife and you get a free kill. Same with backsight. If you know somebody's backsight and you have your molly, you can do this smoke and I would do a deeper smoke oh, here. Molly. Do this molly here. Now this is mollied and if you don't see anything you can shoot that wall and kill them there <clears throat> then once you get one kill you can take the back side of sight here and also make sure you're using your sim beacon anytime that you're walking into a site um, to retake and for c site retaking um this site is quite difficult to retake if you don't have smokes so i would recommend the best smokes for retaking c site is one on top of logs here and watch this um, actually, never mind. I disregard that smoke. This one's kind of bad. Um, I wouldn't say that it's pretty good. Okay, so I want to try it on top of this box here as well. I missed it. All right, screw it. Um, your best smokes here are plat right here, like the attacking smoke, and one here blocking logs off. Um, reason you do the attacking or the smoke here is because that's a common angle. Um, saying up there is a common angle. Again, if you have your molly here, you don't necessarily need to clear this back box, but if you know somebody's playing here, just shoot it over the box. And you get a free kill. Um, so you can do this smoke here, and this smoke here is one of my favorites because it'll give you enough time to clear back of sight and get up onto logs here. And if you want, you can just hide here and wait um, for your smokes to drop, and then you can take the rest of the sight. Um, now, if you know they're playing long, it's a little more difficult, but I think that if they are playing long, you should just, um, you should place a smoke about halfway down. I like doing a halfway down because it gives them a sense of pressure. Like they have, not only do they have to walk up into the smoke, but they have to walk past the smoke a few inches to get to sight. So if you want to hold and get to half, and one of my favorite things to do is smoking like this. Um, so say the bomb is right here. Actually, let's go grab the bomb and plant it. And I will That's show you. Um, a very good way to uh, stick a bomb in a defuse situation and get, uh, you know, like confuse the enemies. So let me uh, switch teams real quick. So say you're in a 1vx situation and you know people are long, right? Now, if you smoke the bomb, Jesus, let me stand on top of the bomb. So if you're on the bomb and you smoke the bomb 
on the side here, right? So now this side is sticking out of the smoke and it's blocking long. And they know that only half of your body can be in the smoke. So if you sit behind the smoke here and you defuse, they're gonna shoot on this side thinking that you're in the smoke, but you're on a completely different angle than they can see. So that's a really good way to trick your enemies into thinking that you're using your smoke to defuse, but you're at a different angle. So think about that when you can. Also a really good tip for using brimstone smokes um, on defensive side is you wanna use your smokes to um, block off the enemy as they're coming into sites to help your teammates if they're still on site. So think about that as well. Um, and that should be all for Haven. Um, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching.